Hello viewers, uh, welcome back to the course on scientific computing using MATLAB. So in the previous lecture we have discussed about the Simpson one-third rule and then we also discussed about that how the Simpson one-third rule can be used as a composite formula. Now in the, in the previous lecture the error the total error in the Simpson one third for the composite formula. So, that will be because in this uh, in the previous uh, case in the Simpson one third rule, we apply the composite for n by 2 times. So, in that is why instead of multiplying by n, we have to multiply by n by 2 to the error this one. So, this is the error for the Simpson one third rule and then I multiply it by n by 2 because we are repeating this process n by 2 times. So, from here I can write that this becomes n h raised to power 5 and this become 180 fourth derivative of xi where xi lies between x 0 to x n. So, that will be our uh, error corresponding to the composite formula. Now, so after discussing the Simpson one third rule, we will go for the another method that is called Simpson three by eight rule. So, in this case the only change we are going to make is that that as we have discussed in the previous lectures that this is my function from from A to B and now in this case I divide the domain into n sub intervals. Now, instead of taking the 3 points, now I choose the 4 points. So, this is the point suppose I choose and I want to interpolate the function from this point to this point with the cubic polynomial. So, the cubic polynomial passing through this point suppose this is like this one. So, this is my cubic polynomial I am able to find. So, this is my x 0, this is x 1, x 2 and x 3. The next will be again x 3, x 4, x 5, x 6 and from here suppose my cubic is now passing through this and it become this is the function this is my y axis and suppose it is this is my cubic. So, I start with here going from here and then it is suppose this one this value. So, this is my cubic in the same way in the last I can have this type of cubic and this is so on. So, now in this case I am approximating the function from x naught to x 3 by cubic. So, I know that the Lagrange cubic interpolating polynomial can be written as so I represent it by p 3 x. So, this will be equal to x minus x 1 
divided by x0 minus x1, x0 minus x2, x0 minus x3. So, this is value of the function at x0 plus x minus x0 So, this is my x 2 basically and this is x 3. This is x 2, then x 1 minus x 0, x 1 minus x 2, x 1 minus x 3 into the value of the function at x 1 plus x minus x naught, x minus x 1, x minus x 3 divided by x 2 minus x 0, x 2 minus x 1 and x 2 minus x 3 the value of the function f at x 2 and in the end the last term will be x minus x 0 2 divided by x 3 minus x 0 x 3 minus x 1 and x 3 minus x 2 into f x 3. So, this is my polynomial I can call it 1. So, this is a cubic interpolating polynomial with now in this case if I want to introduce the error. So, this become my function f x I am interpolating this one with p 3 x plus r x. So, this is we are going to discuss. So, the r x we can define as x minus x naught, x minus x 1, x minus x 2 and x minus x 3. And this is the value of the function because we are taking 4 points. So, this is my 4 derivative by for factorial where xi lies between x 0 to x 3. So, this is the way we can uh, define the corresponding error introduced in the uh, interpolating polynomial. So, now I can calculate the integral from x 0 to x 3 f x d x. So, this value is given to me. So, so, first time the here I represented it by in the composite form, but you just look at this one that initially we have only this function. So, initially I have only this function, maybe I can draw again. So, suppose my function is this one from here to here and this is my x 0, this is my x 3 and I get this value. So, this is x 1 and x 2 and this function is approximated with this cubic polynomial. So, this is my p 3 x and this is my function f x. So, from here I can write this one as p 3 x plus r x into dx from x 0 to x 3. Now, the p 3 x I have already defined then we can calculate this value. So, I will try to calculate just the first term and then the same way we can define the other terms. So, if I start doing this one, so I have to do the integration of x 0 to x 3 x minus x 1 x minus x 2, x minus x 3 divided by x 0 minus x 1 and this is the value of the function at x 0 and that is d x. Now, this value is, is h, h, this is h. So, I know that x 0 minus x 1 will be minus h, this is minus 2 h, this is minus 3 h. So, from here I can take the value and I know that 
f at x naught we generally represent by y naught. So, from here I can write y naught divided by h 2 h 3 h and this is a minus sign. So, it will become minus 6 because it is 3 it is 2 6 h cube and then from x naught to x 3 dx. Now, from here again I will do the transformation x will be plus <coughs> plus p h. So, from here I know that my x minus x 1 will be p minus 1 h. So, from here I can write that this will become y naught by 6 h cube. This will be from 0 to 3 x minus x 1 will be p minus 1 h p minus 2 h this become and p minus 3 h this x minus x 3 will become p minus 3 h and d x will be h into d p. Now, from here I can take this 4 times power of h common y naught divided by 6 h cube from 0 to 3. Now, we have the terms that is p minus 1, p minus 2 into p minus 3. So, if I do the uh, calculation, so I have to deal with these values d p. Now, I can calculate again this value. So, from here this will cancel with this value. So, ultimately I will get minus h y naught by 6 from 0 to 3. So, this is multiplied then I will get the cubic here. So, cubic will be p cube minus 6 p square plus 11 p minus 6 d p. So, I will get this cubic inside. Now, I have to do the integration for that. So, this will become minus h y naught by 6. So, if I start doing the integration, then I have this value. So, it is p cube minus 6 p square. So, I just write again, let us uh, write again. So, this is p cube minus 6 p square plus 11 p minus 6 d p. So, this will become minus <coughs> minus oh my, minus h y naught by 6 and then it will be p 4 by 4 minus 6 p cube by 3 plus 11 p square by 2 minus 6 p from 0 to 3. Now, if I substitute the limits here, so this will be minus h y naught by 6. So, 3 raised to power 4 will be 81 by 4 minus. So, it will be <coughs> cancel out. So, it will be 2 into 27 plus 11 by 2 into 9 minus 18. So, if I do the calculation again, then this value become minus minus h y naught by 6 into minus 9 by 4. So, this value will be minus 9 by 4. And from here I can write that this will become h and it will 3 so, 3 by 8 h y naught. 
So, that is the value I am going to get. Similarly, we can define the next value. So, the next value will be a, again I am taking the integration of this part and then again the next and the next. So, this one we can do ourselves and ultimately if I collect the all the terms then you will start doing this one then I can have my x naught to x 3 the p 3 x d x. So, this will become 3 by 8 h y naught plus then I am getting 9 h by 8 y 1 then I will get 9 h by 8 y 2 and then 3 by 8 h y 3. So, this value I am going to get. So, we can verify by doing the calculation. So, from here I can write that if I take 3 by 8 h common then I will get y 0 plus 3 y 1 plus 3 y 2 and plus y 3. So, from here I can write that this is 3 by 8 h y naught plus 3 y 1 plus y 2 plus y 3. So, that is the formula for Simpson 3 by 8 rule. So, it the value is coming 3 by 8. So, that is why it is called the Simpson 3 by 8. So, this is Simpson by 8. So, this is uh, we have discussed. Now, I want to define the error in this case. So, let us start doing the error. So, the error term will be now I have to do the integration from x 0 to x 3 r x d x. So, that will become from x 0 to x 3 x minus x naught, x minus x 1, x minus x 2, x minus x 3 and fourth derivative xi over 24 d x, where xi is lying between x 0 to x 3, but this is a constant value. So, I can take it common. So, from here I, will, I can have 24 and then again I can do the substitution x is equal to x naught plus p h. So, from here if I do the calculation then this becomes 0 to 3 and this x minus x naught is p. So, it is p h into p minus 1 h into p minus 2 h into p minus 3 h into h d p. So, that will be h d p because d x will be h into d p. So, from here now this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, 5 h I can take common. So, from here I can write this as a h raised to power 5 fourth derivative by 24 and from 0 to 3. So, this is p and other terms are p minus 1, p minus 2, p minus 3 that we already know then is the, that is equal to p 3 minus 6 p square plus 11 p minus 6 d p because this is all we have already calculated. Now, from here I can do this one. So, from 0 to 3 p 4 minus 6 p cube plus 11 p square minus 6 p 
and this is equal to dp. So, again I can calculate this integral. So, it is a p 5 by 5 minus 6 p 4 by 4 plus 11 p cube by 3 minus 6 p square by 2 0 to 3. So, if I calculate this value again then this will be equal to h 5 24 and then inside I will get the value. So, it is 243 by 5 minus 4 86 by 4 plus 11 into 27 by 3 minus 3 into 9. So, after doing this calculation, we will get this value. So, this will be equal to minus 3 by 80 h raised to power 5 f fourth derivative into xi where xi lie between x 0 to x 3. So, this is the error term we are getting here. Now, if you compare it with the Simpson one third rule. So, in the Simpson one third rule also that was giving me the exact value for linear function for quadrating and as well as cubic. And here also we found that this is giving the exact result for a maximum up to cubic and after that it start giving the error. So, if you see from here then there is no much difference between the errors in the terms of Simpson one third or 3 by 8, eight, eight rule. So, in the terms of accuracy Simpson one third and 3 by 8 are same. Now, so this is the way we have defined Simpson 3 by 8. So, similarly Simpson 3 by 8 composite formula can be defined as. So, in the composite formula one thing we have to keep in mind that whenever we are dealing with this one we have three points in the. So, we have three points in the first formula the where we can apply then next we are adding three points more. So, first are the four points then three points then three points again and again. So, if you uh, see from here then you can see that if I need suppose I have only I have my function up to suppose I up to this point then there is only 4 plus 3 7 points. Then if I have next one I have 7 plus 3 10 points. So, like this one. So, from here you can see that for composite formula So, to apply composite formula my n the number of sub interval should be a multiple of 3 only then we can find. So, that is the condition for applying the Simpson 3 by 8 composite formula that the number of sub interval should be a multiple of 3. So, if suppose I have k is equal to 1 then n is equal to 3 then I get the 4 points when n is equal to 2 I get the 6 points 6 uh, sub interval I mean 7 points and so on. So, that is the condition for applying the composite Simpson 3 by 8 rule. So, from here then the composite rule from x 0 to x n f x d x. So, this can be defined as now in the first 
part of the rule I know that this is equal to 3 h by 8 y naught plus 3 times y 1 plus y 2 plus y 3. So, this was I want we have defining then in this case my h will be b minus a by n and my n is 3 k. So, that should be in there. So, then this is the first part then I also define the same thing 3 h by 8 only thing is that I have to define now from y 3. So, this will be y 3 plus 3 times y 4 plus y 5 and then y 6 plus 3 h by 8 y 6 plus 3 times y 7 plus y 8 plus y 9 and so on. So, in the end I will get 3 h by 8 I will get y n the last one it means 3 times before. So, that will be y i n minus 1 y n minus 2 and then plus y n minus n minus 2 n minus 1 and this is n minus 3. So, the last part of this composite will be this one. So, if I add combined all together then it will be 3 h by 8 I can take common. So, y 0 is coming here y 3 y 6, but y 6 is also coming here y 3 is also coming here. So, I have to take this one that this will be equal to y 0 plus y n first and the last that I am taking here. Then it will be 2 times the common node. So, this is y 3 then the y 6. So, this is y 3 y 6 then y 9 and so on. Then plus the internal one. So, this is I can write as a 3 times y 1 plus y 2 then internal node y 4 plus y 5 and in the end I can write y n minus 2 plus y n minus 1 and this is the composite formula for. So, it is y 0 y n here. So, y 3 y 6 y 9 in the end I can write maybe the last point will be um, I can specify here. So, this will be equal to y n minus 3. So, this is the composite formula for Simpson 3 by 8. So, we have to take care about these points and these values. Now, so we are doing this one all these things for n by 3 times. So, in that case if I have to apply the composite formula for this one then error total error. So, that is the total error. So, the total error what we are doing here is. So, whenever I take formula for one set of value. So, I am getting this error when I consider the whole domain as only 4 points. So, in that case I have this minus 3 by 80 h 5 this value. So, this value will be there minus 3 by 80 h 5. So, this value will be same. Now, we are dividing this methods n by 3 times. So, from here I can write that this will be equal to n by 80 h 5 this value. So, that will be my total error. But again we can say that this method and Newton Simpson method are the same errors because they are exact for up to the cubic. So, it does not matter you apply Simpson one third or 3 by 8 both are going to 
uh, give you the same almost same uh, result for the for the given function. So, this is the result for the Simpson 3 by 10. Now, the question so after doing this one I just want to define that this type of methods the trapezoidal so whatever the method we have discussed so far they are also called the methods like trapezoidal Simpson's one third or Simpson 3 by 8 all they are also called Newton course methods. So, they are also called Newton course methods this is a course. So, in these type of methods we know the value of nodal values that is x0, x1 up to xn the value of the function is known to us at this points and then we calculate the value of the integral. So, this type of methods are called the Newton code methods. Also for the integration the order of convergence we have not defined order of or maybe I can in this case I can say that the order of accuracy so what is the order of accuracy here so a method a method so we are talking about the numerical integration a method in numerical integration method in numerical integration is said to be of order k if it solve is set to be method of order k or maybe k plus 1 I should write order k plus 1 if it gives exact result for the polynomial of degree less than equal to k. So, that is the way. So, it is giving the exact results for the polynomial of degree less than equal to k. For example, if I take the trapezoid rule, so in the trapezoid rule we go to the accuracy. So, in the trapezoid rule our result was only for second order. So, it was second derivative was involved there. So, in this case I can say that for the trapezoidal we are going to have the, the order of accuracy in this case I will say k plus 1 will be 2, so k will be 1. So, that is giving uh, the result for k plus k equal to 1. So, I can say that from here. So, from here I can say that for trapezoidal rule k is equal to 1 for Simpson one third rule k is equal to 3 and also for Simpson 3 by 8 rule k is equal to 3. So, that is the way we can define the order of accuracy in the case of numerical integration. So, this is all about the Newton quartz methods. Now, after doing this one, we define another method which is not based on this fixed value of x0, x1, x2. 
so that is called the method of undetermined coefficient so it is so in this case we don't have the fixed value of x0 x1 up to xn so in this case when when the nodal values are not predefined then then sometime then sometime we we are required to design a quadrature formula according to the according to the prescribed specification then then we approximate the approximate the function by various various powers of x that is uh, we take the f x is equal to x raised to power r right where r is I can take from 0 1 2 up to k if k plus 1 coefficients needs coefficients need to be found out need to be found out so in that case we'll take the function the value of the function is equal to x raised to power r because in this case we need k plus 1 coefficient so for to find the value of the k plus 1 coefficient we consider that the method is exact for up to x raised to power r where r is from 0 1 up to k so in that case we will get the system equation and then we will be able to solve that one so this type of method is called the method of undetermined coefficient so we will discuss it in the next uh, next uh, lecture so uh, let me stop here today so today we have uh, uh, discussed about the simpson 3 by 8 rule for and it also it's a total error in the in the case of composite formula and also we have discussed that how what is the meaning of order of accuracy in the numerical methods for integration and then we have started with the method of undetermined coefficient so we'll continue with this one in the next lecture uh, so we'll stop here and thanks for watching thanks very much mm -hmm.